Managing a farm is among the most challenging tasks there is. It entails waking up early and working outside in the sun all day. One farmer took matters into his own hands when people disregarded his appeal to cease parking illegally on his property. He had to start giving them a lesson by then. He had had enough of attempting to handle things politely. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. Owner Dava Bovich has a farm that some careless individuals believe they could utilize as a parking lot. He has long been dependent on his land and the rich mineral soil on it. But once a week, everything he has worked so hard to achieve is in jeopardy. Being a modest guy, Bovich would want to keep his land and himself under wraps. But his life took a turn for the better after a viral video of what he did to prevent others from parking on his property went viral. The police ultimately arrived as a result of this. But did they support him? There was a weekly flea market in Javak, and ever since Bovic's hamlet was merged with the Croatian town of Zagreb, a great number of people from Zagreb would visit. Every week, an abundance of people from the once small town flood in, hoping to get a price on what many would consider to be rubbish. But some locals see it as a means of making quick money. Farmers like Azbovic were not at all delighted. There were just too many automobiles in Javak, which caused problems for the town because so many people came to see the flea market. People started parking anywhere they pleased since, predictably, there was just not enough room to park in the designated area for the market. Sadly, Bovich's farm was directly across the street. So once the main lot was full, this became a popular place to park. Because of how much space Bovich had, it makes sense for people to park their automobiles there. The majority believed that parking for a few hours didn't cause any harm, especially if other individuals were also doing it. But Bovich had often expressed his displeasure with the customers who parked on his field every Sunday. Bovich was not a victim of the common misconception that vehicles are only dangerous while they are moving. Some felt that Bovich went too far, and this was evident as the video of his retaliation went viral online. While briefly trespassing on a little portion of Bovich's enormous property would not be the worst thing. Leaving their cars behind was a challenge. This is because when automobiles are parked after they've been running, they can release a lot of chemicals into the land, which can destroy healthy soil. As a farmer, Bovich's livelihood is contingent upon the quality of his land and the products he grows there. Given that his area is also home to one of Zagreb's largest landfills, Bovich had much to worry about even before people began parking on his property. Still, the garbage wasn't the main issue. Leachate, the liquid that results from precipitation seeping through all of the debris, is one of the biggest hazards to the soil surrounding landfills. Hazardous substances including methane, carbon dioxide, acids, and more are absorbed by the water as it passes through the garbage. The soil and groundwater below the surface get contaminated as this poisonous liquid seeps back into the ground. This implies that for farmers, the water might contaminate their crops or prevent any growth in the soil. The last thing he wanted was for people to park on top of his already imperiled property and let their auto fluid to seep into the earth, because his crops were already at risk from the adjacent landfill. He first made an effort to be kind and let others know about the issue, but it appeared to have the opposite impact. Rather, an increasing number of individuals were parking on his land, which probably caused more harm to his valuable soil. Cars were parked in two rows on Bovich's land, as they were every Sunday, according to a video that was taken of the incident. Subsequently, Bovich emerged, prepared to avenge his land's poisoners, a move he had been eager to take. He wasn't entirely malevolent, though, when he exacted his retribution. He might have dragged their automobiles away or cut their tires, but he took a very reasonable action given the circumstances. Bovich realized it was time to act after repeatedly pleading with people not to park on his land. With that, he climbed into his red tractor, turned on the ignition, and started working. This time, he was not going to plow his fields in order to sow a new crop. He kept plowing in front of the lines of automobiles on his land as others looked at him bewildered. Little did they realize what he was truly doing, and they all thought he was insane for working on a Sunday. People mostly carried on their daily activities, even on a Sunday. It didn't seem all that odd for a farmer to be plowing his field. 
He also made sure to perform well, walking back and forth to ensure that the area was well manicured. But after a while, people started to stop and look, and not because he was plowing so well. Individuals began to suspect that Bovich's farm was not what it seemed. Bovich's strategy became apparent when a few individuals left the market and got into their cars to head home. He had churned the earth so much that it was impassable for vehicles to drive on. As each person's vehicle became lodged in the plowed ground, Bovich stood there grinning condescendingly. Nobody who often parked their automobile on Bovich's land ever thought they wouldn't be able to escape. Not everyone, though, was as content as Bovich. Numerous others started to voice their complaints, and soon the cops showed up. The sight of all the automobiles stuck in the recently plowed fields perplexed the cops when they initially got on the scene. They went up to Bovich, who was seated on his tractor, with a lot of questions. Under typical conditions, although Bovich may have been prosecuted for obstructing traffic, this was not an ordinary circumstance. Yes, the land belonged to Bovich, but the market's patrons needed a place to park if they were going to support the town's economy. It was thus time for Bovich to speak with the police. The police concluded that Bovich had done nothing wrong at all after conversing with him. He was perfectly within his rights, even if it would have been uncomfortable for the drivers whose cars were trapped. He has the right to plow his fields whenever he pleases, and the individuals had parked on his property without permission. Furthermore, he is entitled to defend his property, particularly if it is his source of income. The cops spoke for a while, then left the scene without even issuing Bovich a warning. A woman driving a silver Peugeot struggled to get her vehicle back on the main route. She proceeded ahead, backward, left, and right, but nothing appeared to be functioning. Her car grew more and more stuck the closer she went to the road, even though at first it appeared like she may be able to escape with no difficulty. At one point, in an attempt to free the automobile from Bovich's trap, one of the policemen had to take the wheel. Bovich had obviously made his point. Not even the cops could free the woman's automobile from its entire impasse. Bovich made the decision to be lenient toward the woman, believing that she had learnt her lesson. In order to allow her to go back on the road, he took the tractor out again and leveled the area surrounding her vehicle. The woman would never again park on his property, that much was certain. Could someone bravely park there once more? Following the event, recordings of Bovich's actions became viral, particularly on YouTube. He received kudos for his efforts from a YouTube user who said, People can be so self-centered at times. It's good they learned a lesson from you. Some chastised him, claiming that passersby couldn't have realized it was farmland and that he ought to have put up a notice. However, the great majority of people supported Bovich and gave him credit for peacefully defending his territory. A different notion also occurred to other people. Some YouTubers pointed out that he might have taken advantage of the chance to earn some more cash. Sorry, but he should have just let them park, said one individual, erected barricades, and then assessed a $100 parking fee. Heck, he might have installed chains or anything on their tires. While parking on the land is a possibility, the biggest concern was the potential harm it may do to his crops. For those advocating the parking, just think rationally for one second, penned a sympathetic YouTuber. These vehicles are degrading the soil's aggregate, and their poisons may seep into the earth. Bovich already had enough to worry about with the dump situated so near to his property. Every Sunday, motorists would further deteriorate his land by leaving behind pollutants that would cause more damage to the property. This was the last thing he wanted. Some even thought that the people who had parked illegally ought to have been punished by the law. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.